Diamonds. It's ATL Fat Diva. I'm doing an updated version of the vegan chitlins, okay? I First of all, I want to thank everybody for checking out our video. We got so much great response on the video. Um, a few people say they didn't like it, and that's cool. Um, but most of it has been, it was very positive. Um, but like I said, these are the dried bean curl that you can find in the grocery stores at the international market i found this on the shelf so you can find the ones uh in the freezer section okay i have not tried those yet uh a couple of questions people were asking me you know where can you find it on in the international aisle you would have to ask management and say hey i'm looking for those um bean curls okay this is what it is okay um, it's dry. It looks like a dry skin. How long do I dehydrate them? I said, I, I would suggest overnight. But if you don't have overnight, just make sure they're submerged in whatever liquid you want them to, you know, taste like. If you want to be vegan, you must use all vegan broth. I did it my own way. Um, one of my friends, she said she did the same recipe that I showed her. But what she did was she took her... Um, skins, I call them skins because they are bean skins. Um, and she took uh, one um, pork pig uh, feet and she boiled it until it got nice and tender. She seasoned the pig foot and with the broth and all that. And then she took that broth and then she soaked her bean curls in it. And that's what she, how she made her chili. And she said, hey, that was a game changer for her. She said, honey, you couldn't tell if she wasn't eating chitlins. So you might want to try that if you want that, more of that pork flavor, that chitlin flavor. Take a pig foot or two, boil it, uh, let it get tender. Take that broth from that and soak these in it overnight. And then go ahead and make your chitlins and try that. Let, let me know, guys, if anybody has went out there and tried it that way. Um, but everybody was saying great reviews about it. One lady said, you know, it wasn't her cup of tea. That's fine. Everything that you do in life, you're not going to like everybody's suggestion. It's just another way of, you know, doing the chitlins for the new year that's coming up. Christmas is right around the corner. So you might want to try it and, you know, do another spin to it. Make a twist to them like I did. I use the pork flavoring that comes in little cubes. Um, you can use better than bouillon um, containers. I think they come in a little jar and it has a pork or a ham flavor. You can do that too. Let it, um, put it in water, hot water, uh, mix the, the seasoning uh, jar, um, maybe like a teaspoon or two and make a broth and then put it in a bowl, then put these in there and let them soak. Questions about Oh, they don't taste like chitlins. They don't look like, you know, whatever. Okay, no, guys. It's not going to taste like chitlins. I'm going to tell you that right now. But I had a friend next door try them, and he said he was amazed. And like I said, make these your own. Cook them just like you would normally cook your chitlins. But, you know, add, you might have to add more broth, a little bit more uh, amino to it. You might have to add a little bit more vinegar, maybe uh, more mustard. Make it your own. Okay, but these are, are you know alternative to chitlins. They're not going to smell like chitlins. You don't have to clean them like chitlins. You can just get them and you know let them soak overnight. Next morning, and, and I suggest too. Now that I have made them, um, put them in a crock pot or on a slow um, pot and let it you know cook real slow with a lid on it and let it just take its time. And I think that you will find better results with that other than trying to stir fry it on in a skillet and adding a broth to it. So if you can, you know, go ahead and just add more broth, put a top on it and just let them cook and simmer. I think you will like them better or try them in a crock pot. Throw everything in that crock pot, put that lid on it, make sure there's enough broth to cover them after they have, they're going to have to set now. Make sure they set in the, um, the broth mix first, then put them in the crock pot. But you were asking me to say, well, how can you say it's vegan if you were using pork uh, flavoring? Well, I said I did my own spin. So the pork flavoring is not vegan. It is pork product. But you can make it vegan if you do vegetable broth only. Okay? And that's, it, it'll be definitely vegan. 
But like I said, I wanted to see if I can do get that. Do organic vegetable broth. Or organic, because you got organic out there. You got this regular. But, you know, the ones that are vegan, they're going to be very um, particular how they cook something. And I get it. But I'm not a vegan, um, so I eat everything. Me, because I'm not actually using any meat. Um, so that's why I said, but I wanted that flavor of pork. So... You know, it'll get that, you know, it almost look like it and taste like it. But like I said, um, please, guys, please go back and subscribe to our channel. Um, you know, send more comments. You got any more questions? If there's something that you want us to try that's out there, please leave us a comment and we definitely try to do that. Okay? So, once again, thank you so much, ATL Fat Diva. Update on the vegan chitlins. And I hope everybody enjoy and have a safe holiday.